All right, everybody, we're at the Hacker Motor USA booth. Lots of cool paragliders on the wall. I think we've got some new servos. But everybody say hey to Lee. What's going on, Lee? Hey, another beautiful day in Toledo. Tell us what's been going on. Just moving the Hacker brand along. I mean, there's all kinds of cool motors and controllers. Uh, we've been working real hard on the new servo line. Yeah, tell me about these servos. Yeah, well, uh, we've looked around and, and figured out there were some really cool advances that could be made on the electronic side of servos. Uh, there's really cool processors and digital encoders, magnetic encoders, so we can replace things like potentiometers and actually put some really heavy duty processing power inside the servo. That gives us a lot of cool capabilities. We can do current controlled motor operation, which means that the servo kind of detects what's going on. You won't have those huge ampered spikes when the servo changes direction. And it's not just a matter of providing amperage, it's more a matter of that amperage that's going into the servo is causing wear and damage to the brushes. So um, you know, these huge spikes are trying to pass through little tiny brushes on the motor and it wears things out. So that's, that's not a real effective way to develop a servo. So we changed it up, we put current control on there so that we have responsible currents, uh, we can monitor and manage the torque and, and do some really amazing, powerful servos. Now that we've got the digital encoder system, the potentiometers have gone bye-bye. So the precision should be just fabulous. The centering should be amazing. There's no wear and tear on a potentiometer. So that's another good thing. Finally, with all that capability, we can also do telemetry data feedback. Awesome. And we are very close with Jetty Manufacturing Group in the Czech Republic, and uh, Hacker is one of the primary distributors for Jetty in Germany and Europe. So we're able to work closely, closely with them to enable our servos to communicate with their radios and vice versa. So the end result is that these servos will be able to plug into select Jetty hardware and with select software. Nice. To feedback data such as the angular position, temperature, current, um, load. There's like 14 different data points that we can feed back. Now, well, we we're thinking about this, you know, feeding back data from a servo just sounds like way too much information. Why do I want that? Well, my analogy is kind of like dealing with a corporate counsel. You know, a corporate counsel is never going to bring you good news. But this might be news you really need to know and news that will really help you out and save you from really big expenses later. So <laughs> what's going to happen is that the radios and everything should be programmed such that when there's information that you need to know coming from one of the servos, such as it's overheating because it's jammed, or it's not there, or uh, you know, any number of other problems that a servo might encounter, the radio will notify you and alarm you such that you can do something about it before it becomes a catastrophe. So that's the plan. We should have these in the U.S. in May. We're already shipping in Germany, so we'll awesome. have them here in the U.S. In a, in a few weeks. Very cool. That's something awesome to look forward to. Yeah. So that was the short answer. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, and then we have uh, what I think is the coolest thing to hit the RC industry since racing drones is the RC paragliders from Hacker. So we've got a cool little video running over here, and uh, it looks, looks a little familiar. familiar. Jason, yeah. I think I, uh, I think I created that video on our trip to the Alps in yeah, was, Austria. Kind of, kind of wonderful weekend, and it was just beautiful. Man, outdoors, the Hacker so. Fly Alps event was just once in a lifetime kind of experience. Absolutely amazing, seeing like I don't know dozens of these paragliders fly in this beautiful, pristine, alpine soaring conditions. Unbelievable. Yep. Well, the paragliders, uh, it's a really cool project that Hacker had. Some of the employees within Hacker, uh, we're all RC nuts, right? So uh, <laughs> anyway, some of them were also paraglider pilots, full size. And they were buddies with some of the manufacturer, a manufacturer called Swing that makes full size paragliders. And they started working on RC paragliders from Swing. So these are actually scale models of the swing companies paragliders. That's why the name is RC Free and RC Nexus. 
because there's a full size free and a full size Nexus. Yep. We didn't name them that just to confuse people. There, there was a reason <laughs> behind it, and it, the RC free name works a little better <laughs> in German than it does in, in English because they're unfortunately not free. But anyway, uh, they're a lot of fun. They're really high develop, highly developed. The, this is the end, or, or we're, we're now like fifth, sixth, seventh generation on these things. So yeah, there's been paragliders for years, but these are kind of like the ultimate evolution of them. They work really well. They're really stable. They're really easy to launch. Uh, there's, there's really no tricks involved. I've had some in the past that were just a nightmare to launch and and to fly. It would collapse and crash, and that's just a real bummer in all kinds of ways. Yep. These are easy to launch. They fly well, and in some of the videos that Jason posted, particularly the Fly Alps video, you can see some aerobatics where they actually collapse the canopies and they pop right back open again, almost instantly without much altitude loss at all, which is really critical. And it's like the standard by which paragliders should be judged and, and held, uh, to, you know, determine which is the better paraglider. Now, all that being said, we've got some new ones. The Nexus is the blue and green one on the left. And that's a monster shoot. I mean, it's just monster. 4.3 meter wing. It's huge. Giant. It's huge. It's huge. And it's a hybrid technology. What that means is that some of the cells are closed so that they inflate with the air pressure and some are open so that they're very easy to pop open uh, to launch and to fly efficiently so anyway that is available now shipping uh, we've got the power packs here yeah we got the Pope mobile <laughs> taken to the air there's Woody so if you've seen the uh, Woody videos that I've posted I got that idea from Lee last year at the Toledo show was the debut, so I was excited to see that. Yeah. And uh, I've got the Nexus Wing in hand, and I'll be flying that at Seth yeah. and Joe Nall. So. La last but not least, Hacker does electric motors, right? So we've got <laughs> sure that. a complete line of Hacker motors. Check we've got out. some really cool stuff. We've got the uh, competition pattern projects, which this is a four pole uh, geared setup. And it's an extension of the classic Hacker motor that's been around for right. a long time. Uh, the giant scale projects like this, which is an A200, this will spin your, your average 30, 32 inch prop oh my and, and do some amazing things in the air. And we got the new Park Flyer series over here? Yeah, definitely. Is that what that is? Whoa! Definitely. definitely. That, well, actually, that provides the wind at the slope. <laughs> there you go. So, uh, this is the commercial and industrial projects that we have. And uh, just giant. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, Hacker's business is is amazing we've got about it's my hand yeah <laughs> yeah we've got a bunch of engineering going on in munich we've got a bunch of engineering going on in europe so uh it's it's at the core it's all about rc but we're doing some really amazing things uh, with technology for rc and yeah anybody else we can help and stay purple well lee keep up the good work and you guys can check out all this cool stuff at hackermotorusa.com and we'll catch you guys in the next video